everyone and welcome to Calm Creations Craft Tube Floss Tube. My name is Tia. Today I thought we would do a little bit of work again on our down the garden path. So last time I showed you I was starting to work on the top piece of my spool. Because um, I'm making my own spool and I've covered my uh, cardboard tube with calico so I've done all of that and then I've now finished stitching this piece so let me lift it up and show you so I've got my little girl on the swing and I've sat and stitched her hair and her arms and her legs now in my last video my friend Darren said she's got no legs so there we are Darren she's got legs now I once he said that I was like oh she hasn't either so she's got legs I've put little wildflowers everywhere and a whole bunch of French knots and so that piece is now finished and then today I thought I would construct the spool um, but first then I came up with an idea that I need to do something for the the base of the spool so I've got a piece of fabric pinned down ready to invisible stitch um, and I'm going to decorate just the perimeter of the base of this ball where it's going to be visible so it probably won't be visible once the snippet rolls all stitched on but once you pull it out and open it you will be able to see the base so I thought I would do that today so what I will do is I will invisible stitch all of this down and then I can start decorating it. So I will pause you there and I will go ahead and get all this done and I will be back soon. Okay, so I have finished my little base piece. I have done a simple running stitch around the centre, um, some little vines with the same matching flowers and some little French knots so just stem stitch French knots and running stitch and I've stitched down my little flowers so where I'm up to now is that will go like that that's the base my little cardboard tube will sit like that on the on the base and then my little girl will be on the top of the spool so I thought we could put the top of the spool together so all I've done is done a running stitch around the base and secured that down so I may put some sort of trim around the edge I'm not really worried about that at this point so we that's done that's done now what we need to do is this needs to be put onto the back of here in the centre and then pull those two running stitch thread ends to gather this up and around actually what I will do first is we will Pull that back out again, straighten, flatten that out, so it's all flat again, and we will trim around this running stitch so that I don't have all this extra bulk to deal with. Just 
pull these up tight and then tie them off. Where's that one? That's that one. And that's that one. Just tie those into a knot to gather that around. So that is that. So that will sit on the top. So let's cut that off and a bit of that off. And then what I'm going to do is put some fabric glue in under there and then I can pull that nice and tight and then that will be attached to there. And then that's my little spool. And I've got some felt, a couple of circles of felt that I've cut out that I'll put on the back of these two. And then there's my little spool so far. So I'll go ahead and get all this glued down and glued to this. And I will be back. Okie doke. Here we go. Here is our little down the garden path spool all finished. Don't worry about the bottoms. They are not going to be seen. Well, you shouldn't be looking at those anyway. Um, but it is all done. So now that I have finished that, I'll be able to carry on with my um, my snippet roll. There's been a new prompt released for this fortnight. So I've still got a lot of catching up to do, but there's my little girl. She's got satin stitched here. I hate satin stitch. i just not very good at it. It doesn't sit nice for me, but um, that's my little garden path spool all finished. So I hope you enjoyed that little process of how I've put my spool together. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.